Welcome to Farming Simulator 19 on PS4 with me, Shafer D. We're on No Man's Land on this 19th episode. We're having a look at the most profitable crop and we're turning corn chaff to silage, which in turn gives you a byproduct called digestate, and that is a payday and mega bucks. Hope you enjoy, everybody. We're on episode 19. We've progressed a long way. Things have evolved, as you can see. I had to harvest this. I had to harvest the wheat and one patch of the corn just to get the animals going. We stocked up on potatoes for now, so I didn't harvest the potatoes yet. But this harvesting this in the corn was such a difficult situation because of you remember that in the previous episode the planter jumped over and it started planting off of this field wheat so the harvest that there was left over wheat between the soybean so the harvester really started kept on stopping unexpected errors and so I had to do everything manually get the wheat out of the way, then harvest swear, then wheat, then swear, and so forth. Then I had to plow it out, as you can see it's been plowed, it's a bit rough. So, we limed it and planted swear again, just to make sure we don't experience the same problem, and same went for the cornfield. Now in this episode, <laughs> We're going to be dealing with the most profitable crop in the game, which is turning corn to chaff, then turning it into silage, and then selling it to the biogas plant. So I'm going to park this trailer here neatly. Detach that. Then we're going to leave the truck out here jump into our new forage harvester which is that one there and we're gonna start doing the corn now as for our animals I've also sorted that out off screen there's a lot that you need to do off screen due to the fact that it's time consuming and yeah, it's just something that's been done already, so I don't want to do something and everybody has to sit me and watch me do it all over again. Yes, when the farm is at that point where we know, okay, we've gone where we wanted to go with the farm, you'll see a few repeat things that we've been discussing already, but until then, there's a few th scenes that planting and harvesting off screen especially the normal crops like now this one it's something else I will post that so we're up to 111 cows very nice indeed our chickens if you combine them we're just under 300 chickens at the moment our pigs jumped from 50 to 81 which is very good we've got let me start by saying we've got 44,000 liters or 44,251 liters of slurry the manure will always be underneath a thousand because I keep on removing it out of the manure pit the milk went up to 57,424 liters the eggs you won't see here because it's auto load onto a trailer the pigs we've got 206 liters manure that I also remove as I feed them. The slurry, we're to 12,907. We've jumped from 50 to 81 pigs. Our sheep only went up by 3. The reproduction rate on these are very slow. The wool you will not see as well, because the wool goes onto an autoload trailer. So as we make money, I might bump up the pigs a little bit, but let's get into business here. This is our crone forage harvester for those who've watched the previous video. So we're going to hook up to this trailer here. 
I hope it will recognize and read the trailer. We'll see quickly. Okay, pull forward a bit, hook that up, open the sail. Okay, the, for those who haven't watched, we got ourselves the Crone, the Big X 1180. We've upgraded the tracks and stuff. If you want to see more about it, you can go watch the previous videos that I've posted. Also, we're going to be using the Rise One, Rise 120 trailer. It's all it holds 250,000 liters. Also downloaded from the mod up, and the header that we're going to use on the forage is the New Orleans SFI 900 header. The reason why I went with it, most of your big headers are nine meters wide, goes 10 kilometers an hour, but this one takes most of your normal ground crops. So we're going to see if this is going to work. So we hooked up, let's is it reading? Yes, it is. As you can see, as I'm turning, the pipe's reading. That's magnificent. Sorry for the camera view, but I just wanted to show you that the pipe, let me show you from the rear, I'm going to keep it straight. Pipe is reading. Delighted about that. Now I need to cough again. Oh, my days. <coughs> Sorry, everybody. Okay. Let's move it over there. So, this is the most profitable crop in the game. The method of doing this, it's just, it's a very relentless task. Let's unfold that while I'm talking. What I mean by that is, let's unfold the harvest as well. As you can see, the cap lifts up. If I do that, there it's unfolded. Okay, so I will start doing this and then I'll talk about what I was just about to say. Let's lower that down. Hopefully this works there. Either. Yes, it does. Okay, so what makes this the most profitable crop in the game is you take corn and use a forage harvester and you harvest it as chaff. As you can see in the bottom right corner, it shows up as chaff. Now, yes, it's the most profitable crop in the game, but it takes a lot of work. What I mean by that is you need to do the harvesting of this crop with a forage harvester. Then after that, you need to put it in the silage bunker, compact it, close with a blanket, the normal way that you make silage, then wait for it to ferment 200%. Once that's done, you need to move it to the biogas plant. Now, the biogas plant only pays out at midnight. You will load it, you will not see money come into your account as you're unloading, because it needs to process it. It goes into, uh, at midnight, that's when you can get the money owed to you. What makes this the most profitable is you get a lot of chaff and also when you sell it at the biogas plant you get a byproduct that's called digestate which I'll also be doing in this video or the upcoming videos maybe the episode after this one but I'm gonna try to get everything in on this video I already try my best, but if I can't, then I do apologize. Then you'll see it in the next one. So yes, this is the most profitable crop in the game. But it takes a lot of work. Um, so the process is step one. Obviously, you plant corn, you lime it, you fertilize it, so that it's ready for the right growth stage. After that, you take a forage harvester and you harvest it so that it turns to chaff step three will be placing the chaff in your silo bunker compact it close it with a blanket let it ferment like normal silage and then the silage that comes out of that you sell to the biogas plant 
you get paid at midnight and you can also then sell the digestate which is a byproduct and yes that's how you make money and a lot of it too i mean i've ran two strips and we're already sitting at 64,000 liters or 62,487 so yes that's how you make money from the most profitable crop in the game I've tested various ways I'm sure if you go to coffee and those things but as well the amount of days that lapses for you to get coffee to the harvesting stage by then I've outdone the money that you got from there with this in a day so I've tested numerous ways maybe there's something else that pays better than that I haven't found it yet if you have leave a comment then you can tell me what you think is the most profitable crop in the game but I've tested this in previous videos that I've done as well according to me this is the most profitable crop in the game now you can make your harvester go much faster if you download the two light control for harvesters on the mod up then you get a header that's with two light control and you can then harvest at 41 kilometers an hour if you do it manually if you hire a worker it will go to 10 kilometers an hour so well wow, we're already almost at a hundred thousand and we've done that side the two headlands and one row there this is another row on the other side so we should pull out hopefully 300,000 maybe more I'm hoping I'm estimating now as you can see I've got that conveyor there to clean up the manure that's the trailer that I was talking about so yes we 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 definitely getting there this is so difficult harvesting out of cap because of the header that's down there and you can't see it properly as you can see i thought i was on track but i've yet off already already at 117,294 litres just for that two runs there we should fill up this trailer very very soon now a lot of you asked with this trailer set up will a worker turn around at the end it's been asked in my previous videos well I'm going to show you just now I just want to get this lined up more or less and I will hire a worker for this row here I want to go out a little bit just like that I had a worker now the worker took over as you can see in the top right it's deducting money for the worker let's see how this goes so after this we're going to start pumping in the money I'm almost sure I'll have to look at putting this money aside to buy a bigger biogas plant because we bought a small one still a need biogas plant I also quickly before it gets to the end want to show you how much digestate we've got if you look at the second logo it looks like a hamburger that's digestate we've got 45,391 liters not too bad at all and we didn't put lots in there now from this we're gonna put tons in there as you can see we're already up to 151,000 liters and climbing very quick so 
some of court on hired worker now. So just to show you with a trailer combination I've got the harvester with a dolly and then attached to the trailer as you can see it's turning around smoothly so far I haven't had problems on other maps though with this combination and we're still not experiencing problems off screen what I've also done is I had to do small samples of all the fields because we're out of data for those of you who don't know how it works when you do soil samples every fifth harvest as soon as you want to apply lime or fertilizer or anything of that sort your minimap will show that the field is black in color that means it's out of data you need to do soil samples again so soil samples doesn't mean you do it once and it lasts forever you need to redo your soil samples often same as plowing I've made the big mistake of thinking ok I'm just going to replant from one crop to another if you change your crops word of advice say for example in this field that I'm harvesting now you had sunflowers and now you want to plant corn best advice before you plant the corn after you harvested your sunflowers plow the whole field before planting another crop type in there you'll save yourself a lot of headaches I so can't wait for Farming Simulator 22 I'm really stoked about it for those who have missed it I'm going to start doing map tours let's play survival modes all those type of things I'm going to do my best to get into the new mod releases so yes I will be reviewing mods and I'm going to be totally honest about it I'm not going to sugarcoat anything I don't want to be blunt against the mod or the creator of that mod but if there's a problem we need to point it out so yes this trailer is almost full as soon as this trailer is full we'll go put it in the silage clamp most of you know it as a silage bunker and then I will let the worker carry on while we're doing that so that we can carry on with the chaff because recording time after all is running a bit out of hand but I'm sure this episode will be able to harvest this and fill up the biogas plant then we will see out of a 250,000 litre capacity trailer how much our current small biogas plant can take what's the maximum intake so yes we'll see how we get that done We're at 230,000 litres. Yikes! A normal corn harvest on this, and I've written it down, is 57,250 litres. For a normal harvester, if you do it normally, this is mega chaff. almost at full capacity 250,000 litres ok so there we go full capacity fold up the pipe fold up the header quickly then I'll take this around to our truck and I'll just take it slow not too slow because we've still got video time put that on cruise control and let's go 
Guys, I'm still not certain. I've asked everyone to leave a comment if they want to see the help control menu in the upper left corner. If you don't want to see it, if it irritates you, please drop a message and I'll take it off. I want to do whatever the viewers like to watch. I mean, after all, I say we in my videos, I'm talking about you and I. At the end of the day, you're a huge part of the videos. If it's not for you, then I won't be doing this. So feel free to leave a comment and tell me would you like to see it or not. Let's detach the trailer. And I will certainly I'll read the comments, all my comments, and if I can, or not if I can, 99.99% .99 of the time I do reply to comments. I mean, it's important to me. Viewers discretion to me is very important. Okay, we're in the truck. Let's get this to the silage clamp, which luckily is right here. In the second run, I will do off screen so we can forward the time throughout the night while recording. I've already dumped, I think, 30,000 liters silage that came from or manure in our biogas plant now this is going to be a lot a huge amount now imagine you've got a big field I'm going to pull this in here I want to see how much we can get in here hopefully quite a bit Okay, R1, L1 at the same time, and triangle, then it starts offloading, so we let it offload until, I know it's going to pick the trail up a bit, until you see the quantity in your bottom right stop, then you just pull forward a little bit, until it stops again, that's how you reach maximum capacity of your clamp. I surely would love to see what amount we get out of here. Well, this clamp is not filling up quick, so it means this thing can handle a lot. Maybe I'll buy another field or the plot next to it and increase the field space there so that we can have a full clamp. That's it. Yikes. Hopefully it doesn't go through. No, it doesn't. I'm going to leave the truck here. Yeah? This clamp, I don't know. I think I made a mistake of putting two in here. Yeah? Because I think that thing, if I look at it... Where's my eyes over there? If I look at it, it can go up to two million liters. Okay, so I'm going to put the worker in there again. We'll get that harvested. I want to surely fast forward time in the video so that you can see how much we're pulling and the silage in the morning will use the mill that we've bought I think I don't know, there it's parked there underneath the, shel the shelter there so that the sun won't cause sun fading to the paint Okay, so I'll let Kevin continue off screen. So, yes, let's get that done. Get the clamp filled up. Then on screen I'll do the... Ooh, that swung around very quick. On screen, what we'll do is we'll compact it and cover it, and then we will push forward. Let's unfold the header. Let's see, pipe out is down. Okay, pipes out, headers out. Okay, so let's get Kevin to do this, then we'll compact, close it, fast forward, do everything we need to do so that we can see how much comes out of here. So I'll see you guys very shortly. Ok, 
Okay, so we've limed this, replanted the field with corn. So now, let me just wait for this to fold up quickly. I'm going to park this away. Then we will quickly take our chaff that we got off the field here. And we'll put it in our silage clam. Use the JCB with our compacting tool to compact it quickly so that we can cover it. And then we will fast forward time until the morning. Surely it takes a wide turn. Okay, I'm going to detach both these items because I'm not going to need them for the compacting purposes. Okay, so the first one will be detach that. Then the front piece, let's just lower it, detach that carefully back out without crashing into anything okay let's get our compacting tool then we'll put the crop or the chaff that we just pulled out of the field into the silage clamp and we'll see how the compacting goes because it's a bit high It sticks through a little bit, but once we compact and pick that up, it will be fine. That's our compacting tool that you can download from the mod up. If you go over to leveling items, levelers, if you go over, you download it from the mod up. It's a Power Erix wheel roller nice piece of kit it works phenomenally well so let's get this dumped out here I'm gonna try not to make it a huge heap I'll just troll along very slowly even if I have to, to create two rows for this let's zoom out a little bit Okay, let's stop it there because I don't want to get the chaff to run out of the silage clamp. Then we must scoop it up again with a wheel load and put it back. Once we've offloaded this, then we can start compacting it. As you can see, it's already 1% compacted. That's due to the trailer that I'm using now. Okay, so let's throw forward slowly. Whoa, that jumped forward very quick. There we go. We'll check now how many liters that was. I'm just going to close this up. Pocket, yeah. Okay, let's jump in and see how many liters we've got here. Wow, 487,079 liters of that small field. Okay, so I'm gonna back this up. Okay, this is our leveling unit, so let's see. I think it's a bit dicey though, but shouldn't be too bad. Whoa, it is quite nippy though. As you can see, just the slightest touch of the remote and it starts. I'm just gonna go all over here. It's already at 6% and I hardly, I just pulled in here. Yeah. Whoa! That just happened. Okay, where's my reloader going to go? Is it inside the chaff? Let's see. Oh my greatness. No, it's not. That's how many machines that it spawned back here again. No, where on the map is our... Okay. What's this? That's our truck. 
Okay, Houston, we have a problem. Okay, let me see, do I still own it? I don't expect that though. Yes, there it is, but where is it? Is it stuck inside the chaff? Let's just check around the map. Is there any other dots? What? Is it that? Oh my great days, it's all the way over there. Okay, I'll go fetch it quickly. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in a second. Can't believe that just happened. Let me go fetch it. I'll be back just now, guys. Okay, so we are back again. Let's give this another try, shall we? I'll just take it calm. Hopefully it won't go bonkers again. Maybe it was because I was driving uh, very, very roughly, so... Let's see if this will now do its thing. It's already at 31%. So I'm just going to keep on going backwards, back and forth, and we'll see how it pans out. 40% Hopefully I can make this work within this episode I'm really hoping so because I'd love to include everything of this video This one clip Or this one episode 61 67. I must say that's the first time it's happened with this unit that I've played with. Maybe it was just I was driving a bit rough, if I can put it that way. 78%. Swing it down a little bit here. Can take us to 100. This should be our last round. And... There we go. 100% compacted. So let's close it. And then we will park our vehicles quickly. As you can see, 100% compacted in the top left. Press L3 to close it. Boom! The blanket's on. So... Let's park this unit quickly, park our truck and trailer away, and then we will fast forward time. I might as well, while I park this there, let's put it on 120, so that the time can go, so that that can ferment, don't drive into the water now. And then we will fast forward, I think I put 26,000 liters of manure in the biogas plant, this thing is really difficult to maneuver. Okay, that's done. We've got our milling machine right behind it, which I also I'm going to use it in this episode to fill up a trailer. There goes our crops. I'm going to park this in its place where I normally park it. Let's go fetch our truck. And then, as soon as we hit 7 o'clock, I'll forward this to sleeping time 12 hours to 7 in the next morning. Hopefully that will be fermented by then. I mean, if we run over there, we should at least be by 5% now. Surely. Fermenting 43%. Golly. Wait a minute, maybe in still in this daytime we can be able to pull this one off. 
51 I don't think so before 7 o'clock I don't think so but we can check it's at 57 58 It would have been a bonus if I could get this fermented before 7. I think that's a lot of silage. Not too bad, but I think we can get more in. I think this, one of these clams all 2 million. So what I want to do, I've just checked and I've decided I want to buy that field there. Reason being, no, sorry, wrong field, that field. I want to expand this. I want more than two million liters. I think we might be able to make it. We st might still do this in this episode. 90% Hopefully we can. Fill up one trailer quickly. Drop that off at the biogas plant. See how much that takes. And then we'll do the rest in the morning. Okay, I just want to go there. Okay, we're 100% fermented. That didn't go too bad. And if I press L3, that will open the silo like that. Open the back end. Once I come in here, it will surely open the rest so I wanted to show you guys how the milling machine works we, we're gonna use this truck to do that I know time is not on our side but I don't want to push too fast though because a lot of people still want to see how I do things and how it pans out so okay, let's get that on the truck let me just move Alright, get that without bumping anything. Okay, now I'm gonna open the back curtain, zoom in, L1 and down to unfold the pipe. It does read this trailer. Okay, so let's go closer in there, lower that unit, switch it on. Just go forward ever so slightly. Let's pull it in there. Let's see. So I need to fill up. If I'm not mistaken, this fills the trailer to 90%, not all the way. But I want to try something today. It's a lot of silage in here. Value added bonus. I surely want to create that big field so that we can have two clamps. I want to expand my business. This is not cheating. It is how you do this crop. It's the most profitable. So if you get huge money off it, it's not like you're cheating the system. This is just how it goes. So you just keep on doing this. Let's fill up. As you will see in the top left, the fill level of the silage is dropping as you put it in. I can just get one trailer full now, just to experiment. You must just put it the mill where it's happy to collect. You'll see it will stop counting the bottom once you need to move the mole to some other spot. I 
surely want to get this thing filled up quick so that we can dump it into the biogas plant for it to process and then we can fast forward time just to see the payout it would be very interesting to see the payout of this we'll check the current price for silage at the biogas plant but the reason if your price is slightly lower don't let it bother you the big thing to take into consideration is the fact that you'll still get a byproduct of this which is digested that you can also sell so it's like a double payment actually just want to scoop that up there that's it, I'm going to create a clear path through there let's put it in there it's already at 59% so that it can drain I was hoping to get 250,000 liters so that we can see what's the max out of our biogas plant just to see it's always nice just to know what average you're looking at we're already at 72 always nice to know what what your full capacity of your biogas plant is I don't think it's gonna take 250 but I'm gonna pull this in here so that we can that's a bit skew let's do it the right way I'm gonna fill up this quickly on this side No, I think it takes up to 90% and then it won't fill anymore. The reason for that is yet unknown. I'm still running tests though. Okay, that's collected. So let's jump in on this side, start cleaning up this side. I just needed to get to 90 then I want to off hook the trailer put the trailer right next to this and see if we can bump it up to 100% trailer capacity well, as you can see I'm doing that so that you can see if you go a bit over then you need to back up again ok there's 90 as you can see now it's struggling to fill so let's lift that unit switch that off I want to back the trailer in next to this like that oh wrong unit sorry I hooked the trailer not the mall still reading the trailer though let's see if we can bump that trailer to 100 percent hopefully we can okay so drop that unit down did it drop down huh? there it goes only problem in this regard now you can't see where the trailer is at but I'm sure it will stop once it's full I mean we're pumping that trailer to its max now do you think that's full? yes, okay, switch that off it's on the floor, uncouple it right there or detach it the way that people want to be said I hope that's full capacity yes it is ok so let's head over to silage 
silage now is on our far left biogas plant 1002 as you can see I'll mark it for you there it is 1200 dollars per thousand liters so let's head over to the biogas plant and see how much it will take in there I'm just gonna fill a hopefully it takes 250 then I'm gonna fast forward the time and slow it down again just before midnight so that we see how much we get paid remember I put 26,000 liters I think it was 26,000 manure in there but majority I mean 250,000 still need to landscape this golly me keep on talking about it but I never get to it clumsy clumsy ok so let's see how much this biogas plant can take I'm not sure this is the most that I've put in here so let's dump that there we go busy offloading 250,000 litre silage let's see where it goes on the screen it's a pity I can't zoom in enough whoa ok how much did that take 78,000 litres ok 78,000 is the max capacity what we can do is come over here look at the screen let's try until 7 o'clock to fast forward that ok it's it burns through it quite quickly I want to offload the entire trailer hopefully ok let's just bump it for a few seconds again offload again Okay, that's everything we add in there. I wonder, do you think we should quickly... ...bump in? I mean, how much recording time do we have left? I think we're out of time. So I'll forward, fast forward time quickly so that we can see what the payment is on the amount that we currently have in there 250,000 liters then we've got a rough estimation of how much we get per trailer at midnight so let's do that I'll have to be very quick in this regard wrong way, Schaefer D let's bump up the time here yeah. I'm gonna try to stop it just before it hits midnight I'm gonna try but if I can't it will still show how much we got out of the biogas facility so we're at 83.406 now hopefully we'll get a decent payday I mean, there we are, close to 7 o'clock. I'm going to stop it on the dime like that. Then, why do you climb on the bed there? Okay, 12. No, that's 11 o'clock. <coughs> I'm just gonna fast forward like this then I'll work out the time until 7 in the morning then we'll just sleep until then let's switch on the torch because it's pitch black in here ok here comes the payday ok 
Okay, let me put it on real time. Now you'll see the payday as soon as it hits midnight. I'm gonna stand here so that you guys can see it properly. I mean, hopefully it will be a decent amount. But I'm sure it will be because, and we'll also look at how much digest date we've got. And after that we'll end this video. It should eat now. Whoa! 320,038 bucks from the biogas plant just for silage. That's a payday. That is a true payday. So let's see our digest state on the far right. 155,391 litres which we can in turn then sell to the slurry yard for 3,249 bucks per thousand litre that shows you it's big money you can get like half a million out of that load just for the silage and the digestate combined so that will be the end of this episode guys <coughs> the next episode we're going to expand our cornfield and we're going to go a bit larger so if you found any of the information that I've shared with you useful please do give the video a thumbs up if you want to leave a comment please be my guest if you want to share this video please feel free to do so if you haven't subscribed yet please do click on the subscribe button i will appreciate it whatever you choose to do i'll see you in the next episode guys thanks for watching